<sighs> Feels like only yesterday, huh? The first time Sonic Team put out a game that really felt like an anniversary title for the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. I mean, we had Sonic Adventure 2, which was technically an anniversary title, but come on, it didn't really feel like one, did it? And then there was Sonic 06, which was so bad and so resoundingly shunned by the entire fan base that we all just kind of pretend like it wasn't an anniversary title in the first place. But then there was Sonic Generations, celebrating the history of the franchise and glitching elements of the world in and out of existence. That was 10 years ago. And then there was Sonic Forces. Yes, I know Sonic Mania was also part of the anniversary, but as far as 3D Sonic and Sonic Team themselves were concerned, Sonic Forces was the real anniversary title there. Celebrating the history of the franchise and glitching elements of the world in and out of existence. And now there's Sonic Frontiers. Celebrating the history of the franchise and glitching elements of the world in and out of existence. Are you sensing a pattern yet? It's such an odd thing to think about, how these anniversary titles operate. In fact, when critical reception for Sonic Forces took a steaming, uh, nosedive, criticizing the game's length, its poor level design, its stale gameplay, director Morio Kishimoto and Sonic Team head Takashi Izuka decided it was time to put the second generation of the Sonic franchise to rest and come up with something brand new. Beginning development in 2017, immediately after Forces was released, Sonic Team set out to create a new template for the franchise to come, as Sonic 1 and Sonic Adventure had done before it. Obviously, the original intent was for this game to come out in 2021 for the series' 30th anniversary, but between building this game from the ground up as much as possible, restarting development completely from scratch at one point, and suddenly working remotely as a result of the coronavirus pandemic, development continued well into the anniversary year and added on one additional year for quality assurance and playtesting. And that decision wasn't without merit. The gameplay style of the previous decade and a half, dominated by what is often referred to as a boost gameplay, wasn't going to cut it in the 2020s, and was going to need serious time and attention to correct for the future. Returning from Forces to direct this next title, Kishimoto was enamored with the idea of world maps in platforming video games. Since all the way back in their first popular appearance in Super Mario Bros. 3 back in 1988 on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Now, the Sonic franchise was no strange to overworld hubs, such as the adventure fields found in 1998's Sonic Adventure and 2006's Sonic the Hedgehog, but integrating the core gameplay into these world maps he felt would allow for a denser and freer gaming experience. In terms of storytelling, Sonic Frontier saw the inclusion of Ian Flynn, a super popular writer for not just both the Archie Comics and IDW publishing treatments of Sonic the Hedgehog, but also the most recent animated series at the time of the game's release, Sonic Boom. Izuku was impressed with Flynn's handling of the characters and canon in the comic series, and tasked him with putting together a story and dialogue that would challenge the player, rather than just telling them directly what to do, or relying on humor to pad out the story. And speaking of the story, it opens on Sonic and Tails flying in the tornado until a sudden, unexpected event pulls them through a wormhole, where Sonic has to seek out the Chaos Emeralds and look for a way off this new mysterious island. Oh, sorry, that was the last game we did, Sonic Rush Adventure. In Sonic Frontiers, our story opens on Sonic and Tails and Amy flying in the tornado until a sudden unexpected event pulls them through a wormhole where Sonic has to seek out the Chaos Emeralds and look for a way off this new mysterious island. Totally different. After awakening in a strange place, mashing together Windmill Isle with the aesthetics of the more traditional Green Hill Zone, Sonic is able to escape this strange cyberspace, finding himself on Kronos Island, where a disembodied voice instructs him to gather the Chaos Emeralds, defeat the Titans, and tear down the barrier between dimensions. Despite being functionally a new generation of Sonic gameplay, very much like the previous new-gen title Sonic Adventure, Sonic Frontiers is also split into two distinct styles of play. More familiarly to longtime Sonic fans, Cyberspace is a realm where Sonic will have to navigate memorable stages from previous 3D titles, with the prize for victory and completed missions being a set of vault keys, which in turn unlock Chaos Emerald vaults located throughout the main region the game takes place in, the open zone Starfall Islands. In a vast departure, from previous Sonic titles and instead taking cues from modern sandbox and open world games, most notably The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Sonic navigates the wide open environment of Starfall Islands locating seeds and Koroks, I mean Cocos, in order to level up Sonic's abilities, collecting Amy's memory tokens in order to rescue
you as friends, and defeating enemies of increasing size, scale, scope, and intensity. Defeating the strange robotic enemies of these islands can earn Sonic skill points he can use to learn new techniques, as well as portal gears, which he can use to access new cyberspace levels. Perhaps the most notable new technique in this game is the Psy Loop, in which Sonic leaves a trail of energy behind him and attempts to close its loop to interact in unique ways with whatever's inside it, blowing out torches, stunning enemies, digging up hidden treasure, and more. There are also a number of mission markers scattered throughout the land, indicating a puzzle or interaction Sonic must figure out in order to win prizes and create grind rails to better interconnect the island. It's sort of like Sonic Adventure meets Breath of the Wild meets Shadow of the Colossus. Open world games are all the rage right now, and we're going to be enjoying this one for a while, so let's get into it. Released on November 8th, 2022, at the end of the longest development period in the entire franchise history, this, the first 3D Sonic game that's been released in the entire history of this channel that actually looks good, is Sonic Frontiers. Let's get to it. Sega! You thinking this one will get to fuck a princess? Uh, maybe. Okay. There's a very good chance if history is anything to go off of. Sonic 06, the sequel. <laughs> I'm John. <laughs> oh, Rick. Oh, we're starting now? We're, yeah. yeah, we're in now. <laughs> what did we open on? Uh, something uh, about the princess, I something, think. Something, yeah. <laughs> oh. Sonic's Sorry. got a really... I missed the line. Oh boy! Wow, they, isn't this the Breath of the Wild title screen? It too? certainly looks <laughs> almost exactly. Hey, it's it's us, uh, Sonic Combat Evolved. <laughs> it's the C pad. Oh, there it is. Playing. Welcome back to the D pad. Hey, they, they got the year of release wrong on the top right there. <laughs> totally not Halo. Oh, uh, totally not Breath of the Wild. I guess normal. I would say normal. I've seen a bunch of people have started normal. on hard, but. Play, Ooh, what the fuck? I could the, probably play hard. I think high speed style is probably what we're gonna you select want. the settings that fit your style of play. Action style. Recommend for people who are not familiar with Sonic games. People used to playing Sonic I games. That's the, that's I think we're gonna answer. regret that. But we've only <laughs> been doing the Super Sonic Let's Play for approximately seven I'm not years used to now, playing modern Sonic now. games. Hold on, we got a 2005 era cutscene. Yeah, wow. Look at those textures. Mm. <laughs> this is 4K. This is 4K. <laughs> it's 4K. But oh, 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 it's, it's, looking it's, at it's good. It's a 343 guilty spark. Ah, uh, this is the uh, the throne from uh, and that's from the prologue, Divergence. Oh yeah, is Knuckles kidnapped? I think so. I, he, I think it, that's what, already did he get tricked? Knuckles yeah. is the gam damsel in distress in this game. How, what do you mean this, Knuckles is kidnapped? How, how, how would I know that? He got tricked essentially into, or not even tricked. He just wound up when uh, during there was a prologue like anima uh, animation oh, thing I didn't that was. See that. Is Robotnik also going to wind up in a little? <laughs> was that Midna? Was what Minda? The, there's a little female noise. No, this oh, is the. Hear it. Whoa! Is that this him is screaming? This is the forerunners. That's what I'm thinking of. Oh, okay. I was trying to I, like this reminds me of something specifically, and it yeah. kind of looks like Swordman's Sword. We're getting Cortana. I thought that was Infinite for a second. I'm like, wait, what? That would be cool. They okay. keep creating new characters and they're doing nothing with them. So. Yes, it's all they throw them in the bin. Line. Is that Jim Carrey? Ooh. No, but I, you know, I believe. No, never mind. I'm thinking of Sonic Prime. Is it supposed I, to look like shit? I want to say yeah, it is. Yeah, I may have this backwards. Answer me. But I believe this is still Mike Pollock. It doesn't sound like he normally sounds. If it's not, and I'm mixing it up, I believe for Sonic Prime. Whoa! Do we have to rescue Robotnik? That'd be fun. I don't Either Brian Robotnik. Drummond or Ryan Drummond, and I mix them up all the time. But the voice of Knuckles from Sonic Underground. Is going to be the voice of Robotnik oh in Sonic Prime. I gave up on their voices or a long time ago. Yeah. Ba -ba 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 I don't have a mouth. They change them every like three years, and they're like, "Oh, this yeah. is the new face of Sonic." No, like, well, the voice have actors. A face. He's animated. The voice actors have actually been pretty consistent since like 2010ish. Wuha! You tracked the Chaos Whoa, Emeralds here, that right? James Earl Jones asked. That was just the gets Hedgehog. a little white back. That was a much deeper voice than I was expecting. Why would you not? No, just Julio have White has white. done enough. I did not realize that he was the voice of Sonic in not just the All Adventure three Sonic of the Hedgehog cartoons. and Sonic Saturday Morning, and also Sonic with the, the brother and sister. Yeah, yep. and now he has his own strain of uh, <laughs> marijuana products Sonic called has Purple Urkel. Does he really? Yeah, and he yeah. sells it with Snoop Dogg. I take it all back. Give it right back to Julio. Oh, white. would you look at that? Tails flies the plane, and we're crashing. I don't think Julio White has ever been uh, in a video game Sonic, though, right? No, he hasn't. No. That should be, I hope Do you he think he even gives a remote fuck about Sonic? Uh, do you think he, like, likes Sonic? Do you think he plays the games? I don't know. Whoa. Or do you think he just looks back on that time in the uh, 90s he where does. he was really busy voice acting? Uh, I mean... Oh, oh this in. is a game. 
All right. All right. Okay. We got a green this hill zone looking thing green here. Green hill zone, basically. Only Weird. with a lot of... I cannot control the camera. Yeah, it says that on the thing there. Use ULS to move around. Sonic will walk, run, rock or run, depending on how much ULS is moved. Pressing ERT will have Sonic boost in the same right. direction as ULS. So right trigger gives ULS So literally there. walk using oh, the cool. stick. Oh, cool. Oh, but you, it's really hard to turn. Yep. I mean, this oh, is... Oh, no, it's, it's, you just do back and you stop. Okay. Yeah. It's also, this is, this is boost style gameplay. For, for at least for right now, so right. this is meant to be more of like on a track, right? Yeah. So I think I would fall off a cliff right here if I did Probably, it, right? yes. Oh, it won't let me. That's good. I was going to yeah. like, that's a, that's a dick move. Well, it wants you to go forward anyway. I hope that Jaleel White has a brief cameo in Sonic Prime. I think it'd be cool. Holy shit. Yep. Oh, we, all right. We've got our first red coin. We're getting <laughs> them all. We're not getting them you all. You only need eight, right? And you don't need or sorry, did I say red coin? I meant red ring. Whatever. I'm exploring a little bit. Oh, I thought you were making a oh, Mario joke. Yeah, but you gotta go fast. In these levels, exploration is like not really the idea. For well, for ones like this, that I'm are not on, like running track. out of time, right? I'm kind of just getting the lay of the land. This is like know. a race car level, John. Yeah. This is boost gameplay. This is like you don't go back and search in Mario Kart. Now I'm curious. <laughs> you if don't. <laughs> no wonder I'm no, terrible. No, but you do in, in Sonic Kart. R from from my memory of it. That's so. true. Oh, another another okay. red, red yeah, ring. Yeah, boost. Holy when you attack. boost. So one thing that's cool is when you boost, it seems to follow the track of the level. Yes. So it doesn't just boost you off a cliff like all the other games. No, it'll it'll boost you directionally there. I love oh, that's, that's a good old school sound that's effect. Improvement. Yeah. Oh yeah. Boost. Oh, no, oh, you missed what it. What the fuck? Fuck. Oh, there oh. you go. Yes, I got it somehow. Did you right trigger in the yeah, air? I did right trigger. Do in you the have light speed shoes on that just drag you towards rings? Was that Motobug? triangle telling me to hit? I think triangle means that that's the yeah. enemy that you're locked onto. Yeah, what? Oh, okay. Attack. So you like jump. Literally every Sonic game. You jump, but it's not jump again. It's uh, X on the. Oh, Xbox. it's a different button for it's a yeah. different button. You that's jump yeah. with one button and then you attack with a different one. So that's and then cool. the spot that you'd normally expect, like a dashy kind of kind of right. button. This there. is cool. Can so you do any far, other this attacks? is all right. Or just the homing attack. So for now, right. just the homing attack. Yeah, there might be. There may be a different thing that later. worked well. Oh, I right didn't, there. I didn't. Oh. Are we actually gonna get all five of these without is that the last one? Yeah. There we go, boom. Cool. It's well, just like, oh, we just happened too. to get him a what the fuck? I mean, that's a tutorial. Reach that the goal. That felt pretty good. I don't like this glitchiness. Oh, uh, you just failed. Feel like the game's fucked up. Why? <laughs> I didn't die. It. I didn't take any damage. Why only a D? Because you, uh, you took two oh, speed. Yeah, clear with rank S time. Uh, so who cares seven. about speed? <laughs> okay, A, leave cyberspace. What? Yeah. Let's, let's see what we got in here. Is the symbol for this game just a triangle? No, that's the uh, that's the D-pad signal uh, symbol. I uh, I edited that in. It's weird. I almost just instinctively hit skip because a button prompt came up and yeah. said hit A to skip. <laughs> I do that a lot. Uh, oh no, we're in the forest from Sonic 06. The on your feet, on the left look interesting. <laughs> yeah. Wham! Wake Somebody up! called the ambulance. Wake up, Sonic. So they crashed a plane and he is in cyber. Oh, is he dead? Are we dead? We might be. Who knows? That'd be fucking great. Have some balls. That's, that's sad. Video Sonic game characters dying go to cyberspace, Whatever where they have to live out their lives as video games for the rest of eternity. <laughs> yeah, he's, he just starts being in every other game. I feel like we're on that path ourselves. You have done the impossible. Somebody should make a, the D pad the video game, the D pad simulator. Oh, that'd be great. I don't know how we feel about this voice. Sure beats being called a rodent. Hey, you Sonic and the Secret Rings friend? reference. Are you saying I can rescue my friends? I do not like this voice. Ooh. Cortana. Hooray mythology. Yeah, it's kind of a Cortana thing there. Yeah, okay, sure. How about a little context? His voice gets steadily deeper over time. <laughs> over all it sounds games. like a 15-year-old trying to sound like they have a deep voice, though. You know? Yeah. yeah how is he still 15? Oh, well. I don't know. Some direction is better than <laughs> How long is a year on Here Mobius? Go. <laughs> That's a good question. Look around. Use Urs hey. to rotate the camera. Find the way forward. Press D-pad left to bring up this window again. Okay. So one year on Let's Mobius see. is at least hey, it's approximately right. 30 Earth years because... Because we're still Sonic's yeah. about thirty. Sonic is yeah. Ageless, yeah. <laughs> Sonic's had one canonical birthday Options. in Sonic Generations. Did he turn sixteen or did he turn fifteen again? I don't think they said. I don't think they said how old he was turning, but mm. I think he would. He, he is probably wow. Sixteen now. That's a now. pretty upfront warning about motion sickness. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Awesome! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. There's like a fish experience eye to motion it. sickness. Try playing a different Sonic game. Yeah. There's like fish Try eye playing to it. Mario. It's so weird. <laughs> 
I don't seem to be able Level to... Level 1 of 99 for each of those four things in there. I assume the shoe is speed. Reach the goal. Oh, is Pack this the level defense. I just was? Yes, yeah. All right. Well, fuck that. And then I don't know what the ring one is for. Should I do it fast just to just no. to say I did? No. <laughs> this is an well, open would, world game. Level, it takes sucks. 60 seconds. It, <laughs> I think it's worth, you know, moving forward for now. Because right. that, that also might be stuff that's easier to do once we've upgraded, you know. Hmm. Dark Souls. Ooh, we got some stuff on the left. We got this thing right here. I love this soundtrack. It just feels it like that nice. app I used to meditate. It was like fucking Halo Oh, that's Combat a question mark. It looked for... Oh, there's like a glowy thing up there. Uh, up where? Up there? Yeah, there's like a, a heart. We have a lot of... Uh... Oh, yeah, I see it. Okay. I don't know how you Let's get up there, that. though. Is there like a... Maybe there's a spring underneath in that box? I'm assuming I can... Oh, yeah, you're right. I can't... This looks like a post-apocalyptic Sonic world is what this looks it, like right it now. It surely does. It's like, oh, there's still rings that exist, but, like, no life. Yeah. Very few robots. Honestly, this does appear to have the highest production values of a Sonic game we've seen in a really oh, long time. Oh, already, for sure, yeah. Like, did I get that heart thing? You I did. All the money. Oh, yeah, you see on the heart one on, your, oh, on the top left. Okay, but all the money that we squeezed out of the Sonic Origins project. Yeah. All the money that didn't get spent on... Oh, there's another one there. All the yeah. money that did not get spent on Sonic Forces got spent here instead. Hopefully. Forces and Origins and <laughs> yeah. fucking... The mania sequel that we never got. The money that we didn't give, that we didn't pay to headcanon to to <laughs> yeah work on Sonic uh, Origins got used here. All right, so we got some switches. Do you jump on them or you just stand you on? Just gotta wait a second. I got Xboxes, John. They look like uh, the Aperture logo. Ooh, this could be in the Portal oh. universe. Whoa, never mind. Oh, uh, I was gonna say. Fuck? Oh no, it is. I was wait. gonna say. Is this like the towers in Breath of the Wild? And I think that's exactly what this is. So it's talking about the Titans. Yeah. And this is called Kronos Island. As the Starf oh yeah resident yeah. mythology nerd, is this actually somehow related to Greek mythology? Kronos was the king of the Titans. Maybe. I think it's more of a naming convention. All right, let's find anything, out. But let's we'll see. see. Let's yeah. see what they say. I'm 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 intrigued. You put mythology in my Sonic game, and I'm gonna get a big boner. So what's the difference between a spiky heart and a glowy heart? So the spiky heart <laughs> didn't. What if didn't Chris Hemsworth shows up in the Sonic game? Oh, um, oh Chris my Hemsworth boner, will thunder. That's continue fine. to be bigger. I thought you were saying Chris Pratt and was like, ah, uh, mm, hopefully he won't. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. No, he'll be in the next <laughs> Mario vs. Sonic Olympic That's race. Great. It tries to... Training uh, simulator. Like All right. Can you imagine if for the next Smash game you can unlock uh, Chris Pratt Mario as a... Oh, uh, God, I fucking hope not. character. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. I didn't like the way that, like, it hijacked the camera, it brought yep. up a message I couldn't dismiss, yep. and it said, do this now. Home Wait, attack. what? I already learned how to do that. I had to do that for the last level. I think you, you might have been able to get away from that without... I guess. You could have just ran through it like All right. yeah. they were telling you. What other one? What left one, left one. That's weird. Okay. Press the X button when the... Okay. Wow, did it really unload all <laughs> of this stuff for that? Okay. Can I do really the drop dash? No. Ah, uh, Can you do the peel out? So, so we got a red no. spiky heart, Come but try it, it didn't count dash? towards our counter on the top Not left. Yet. Oh, that's cool. We got our two pink ones. You can do a bouncing down attack. Oh yeah, that's that's from Sonic Adventure. Only you, you, he used was that to Sonic bounce. Adventure. I know that if that was a thing it, from do you Sonic. Keep bouncing. That was at least a thing from Sonic. Uh, either two. generations two. or for, uh, forces. What? What the fuck? Um, you can't do the spin dash though. That's it. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh, they're dropping stuff. When enemies are treated drop areas skill pieces and seeds. Oh, this is like an RPG. Skill pieces going to skill. Yeah, there's level up stuff on the bottom left. Weird. These can be used to learn new skills to enhance Sonic. Sounds like Sonic's gonna be the only player playable character. I believe character, so. I believe that which is, is fine. Case. Okay. Um, then they can do uh, Sonic. What were those red jets? On the side, two. I think that was just being like Sonic and Tails. Can't proceed. Uh, Did the rings respawn? They must have. They. I guess. So, oh, yeah. when I came back in. You have a limit the on the number of rings thing. you can have. 400, huh? 400. I wonder if they're like a currency or something. Yeah, I wonder if you can probably get a giant wallet later. Right. Or if we, if we. A giant, uh, It does box. feel good to run in a big open space. Maybe the secret to Sonic was to stop putting fucking pits if everywhere. If we capture enough pose souls. I don't know, that looks like a pit. That looks like a pit. Well, yeah, I'm not running though. That's fine. Alright. Wait, oh wait, was this a, is this another throne thing? No. Okay. Uh, it looks very similar, but I don't think it is. All right, so far it's I'm intrigued. Uh, I don't hate ooh, it yet. A spring on the left here. Where's that go? Uh, all right, looks like I'm home to that, huh? Ooh, sweet. Okay. That's cool. I was gonna say there's another heart. Yeah, right there. Yep. Don't know what they're for yet, but it is counting them, so it seems like that's 
worth it, looking at, right? If game, collect stuff. But again, I'm surprised that the red spiky one didn't count. When did we get keys? We have three keys. Uh, weird enemy designs. Yeah. What does that remind me of? It reminds me of something. For sort me, it, it reminds me a little bit of Twilight Princess. It super reminds me of Fantasy Star Online. Okay, all right. Uh, Another in, in the last level. Isn't that of, also a Sega property? Oh yeah, it's Sonic yeah. Team. Yeah. It's not just Sega. It's oh, straight okay, up well, Sonic Team. But it's also twenty years old. Yeah. What did the robots in Skyward Sword look like? In Skyward Sword, they looked like little. They looked like oh, how to describe them? Cheery little, that cheery so little cute, cute robots. Ernest. Ooh, how to describe them? They're cheery little <laughs> cute robots. They almost look like they have oh, Midna yeah. helmets on. Oh. Good oh, yeah, range so on the like attack. Which Those look like something that I'm thinking of that's white. Is it from Portal? Um, which thing? The the robots in this. The robots in this one? Yeah, they um, look like something that... They look a little bit portally. I could see that. Uh, I don't know. There, there's something specific that they remind me of that I cannot place. I will punch the air. That are very, like... They have that kind of specifically headless-looking design. I seem to have fucked up. Are they coming back? I hope so. Uh, I mean, oh, that's what it is. John okay. Cleese from the Harry Potter movies. <laughs> John Police? Cleese. Cleese. Who did he play in Harry Potter? I don't even remember. Nearly Headless Nick. Oh, did he? Oh, my yeah. God. I, I was never huge in Harry Potter in general, and I've only seen the movies themselves oh, like once didn't miss a piece, anything, but... Except for a lot of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think I can... Whoop. It's there you weird. go. Something's weird there. Maybe I was looking at the camera angle wrong or something, but... Are these... We'll get some boxes on the, the side. The joke was that he didn't have a head, though. That was... Headless... Headless John... Is that a chow egg? Headless. No. Yeah, That's what good. was that? I don't know. I'm so confused Do I about... have an inventory? Here, let me... Yeah, try pressing some stuff. Difficulty... Difficulty normal. Sound grab... Nope. Training while waiting to... or after a game over. That's a neat setting. Did you press pause or select? Yeah, it's, what button did you press not, for that? I pressed a... I gotta press B to close. Now press the other one. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, we have three out of two keys. What do your bumpers do? Oh, they just change the icons. Huh? A lot of stuff I have no idea yeah. what it is yet. All right. Well, I guess you just got to play, and they'll explain it to you. Or uh, they won't. Or they won't. Dark Souls. Uh, yeah. What, what I'm struggling with here Try is... Try the D-pad. I'm trying both. Thing? None of them. What do you want to like do? This, this menu is frozen. It's also... Ooh. Yeah, that doesn't seem good. That seems wrong, right? So Maybe say, you that can't change literally nothing. We can't change anything in the options menu. It doesn't let us move. Oh. I hit. Oh, oh weird. Wait. So you have to open it with uh, whatever their start button is. Yep. And then you have to click options. Oh, what <laughs> the fuck? You really? You have to hit A to select options. Oh, my God. That's so unclear. I Even thought that was there's just a tab on there's nothing else here. Maybe there will be at Maybe some there point, will be, but which is fair if that is the case. The production like, values are high enough that that's that would that's, be a really weird mistake. John, we both we both work in UI fields. Like that seems like a yeah. like a fucking no brainer of, of yeah. UI. Like don't do that, you yep. know? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. But hey, what do I know? I didn't make Sonic. Didn't you? I thought that was the whole reason we were doing this. <laughs> what is it what is it? unofficial intelligence? I gotta I gotta tell you something. Rick. Uh, unofficial it's, intelligence? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, UI stands for, uh, well, so, uh, um, usually... Is a light speed dash? Uh, UI is usually, like, user interface. Uh, Deals with, like, visually whatever yeah, the user sees whenever they're dealing with stuff. Usually gets tied in with UX, which is user experience. Which is, like, when something is non-frustrating to use. Yeah, yeah. like, how you, how you interact... And so the feedback you get from that. What are you trying to? What are you? I, so it's a it's, little it's bit like weird. When so you're, I can. I, I assume that we're going to get the ability to do a light screen, a light. Okay, because uh, I, 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 I feel like I should be able to project forward, but maybe it's just, I you can't yet. It's it's like when there's like a woman at a bar and some some, like a little uh, bit druggy but. like like comes up at her and there's a user yeah. interface. Oh my god. You're gonna be a great dad someday. God damn. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna be a user interface. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that didn't look good. It's that's, that's weird. Oop, up, oop, oop, up. All right. Oop, it like almost feels good, 
but there's like a couple of things that are not clicking the way I'm expecting them to. And this yeah. is like an arbitrary line of just yeah, nope, that can't seems go anymore. weird. That seems like a, a bit of a fuck up. Can you get you get over? Uh, okay, yeah, that's thought about it. All right, we'll we'll come back. We well, can't get everything. Maybe you're not expected to scale everything like in Breath of the Wild. Maybe you're. Supposed I mean, to, perhaps yeah. Maybe Sonic you're supposed to run around the vast ninja. Oh no, we're gonna. Okay, guys, we're about to win Twitch. Guardians are very powerful. They are bigger than normal enemies and have special attacks. Study their moves to find an opening. Tip when an enemy is targeted, lock onto them by pressing Urus. Oh, they kind of look like the That's robots Latin for the from, bear. from Metroid, maybe? Right. I could what see that I a little bit. They look a little enemy. Oh, you can get combos? That's kind of cool. Oh, oh, I got hit finally. Yay. Oh, shit. Did you maybe just die? Not. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Each attack can be parried. Sonic. You like Dark, Dark Souls. Souls, right? Yeah, well, I was never really time. good at uh, parrying. Yeah. We'll find out what happens after after you died. Cool. Bye. <laughs>